Also tonight we're hearing from a former Pasco County deputy who is one of 20 ex sheriff's office employees now suing the agency. The lawsuit making several accusations and tonight Eric Waxler learning the new details. It's a command. Canines with the Pasco Sheriff's Office have been getting a lot of attention in recent months for their exploits, but a former deputy is alleging major problems with how the canine unit operates. Some of them were little, some were big mistakes. Cliff Baltzer spent almost two decades with the Sheriff's Office, including many years in the canine unit. He says the problem started last year when his partner, Canine Tundra, showed deficiencies as a patrol dog. Even though Tundra passed tests, Baltzer tells us Tundra had trouble with building searches and loud noises. Baltzer says his unit sergeant blamed him for those problems, even though records show Tundra did all the required training. I mean, I had documented date stamp proof of their records of showing, hey, I didn't do anything wrong. When Baltzer disputed his supervisor's take on Tundra, he claims he was transferred out of the department as punishment. He says his supervisor also threatened to put Tundra down. Eventually, Baltzer says he paid the sheriff's office $8,500 to take ownership of the dog, but he says he wasn't even given Tundra until he resigned. Uh, they accused me of something I didn't do. Um, they held my dog, uh, my canine dog that I was currently working with over my head as leverage. Chef here! Hey! Baltzer says some yeah. of the Pasco canines are not properly trained, and this video that went viral from an incident in February of last year is a prime example. People will get hurt on this. Um, you see some things where they release the dog and they call in the dog back, call in the dog back, and the dog doesn't come back. Well, that's a training issue right there. The Pasco Sheriff's Office wouldn't comment specifically about this case, but said in regards to the lawsuit, our response in court will answer all questions. And once the facts come out in court, we're confident these allegations will be proven false. Baltzer now has Tundra and retired canine Aragon both at home, but what he doesn't have is a job. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.